Good guy with gun stops bad guy with gun. Police arrest good guy. Go figure. So this story came across my radar because it's close to home. So here in Baltimore around July 4th, a gentleman by the name of Floyd Muldrow came up from Virginia Beach to party with some friends. Upon his arrival to the club, he encountered one of his friends being pistol whipped by another club goer. Apparently, Mr. Muldrow's friend was dancing with said club goer's ex-girlfriend. He got mad, brandished a gun, and said, I kill everybody up in this place. At which point, Mr. Muldrow, being a former Marine, and still currently serving as a federal security force officer, jumped into action, subdued the club goer without any lethal force, and held him until Baltimore City Police showed up. The police take the other club goer into custody. Mr. Muldrow said he was armed, gave up his, his sidearm. Baltimore County Police Officer said, thank you for your service, sir. We appreciate you. That's until the supervisor shows up. Supervisor shows up, notices that Mr. Muldrow don't have a concealed carry permit for Maryland. Takes Mr. Muldrow into custody, and Mr. Muldrow is now facing possible jail time with a thousand dollar fine for being illegally in possession of a firearm in Maryland. Now look guys, I'm all about following the law. You hear me preach all the time about making sure you're legal. Making sure you're legal everywhere you go when you're strapped up. But I'm also a proponent of true constitutional carry, meaning we shouldn't have to have any licenses to carry firearms, period, full stop. On top of this, Mr. Muldrow's a Marine. Are you telling me he can carry a gun when he's protecting this country, and he's putting his life on the line for this country, but he can't carry a gun to protect himself at home? Now also, apparently, he's a federal security officer. So what you're telling me is he can carry a gun to protect federal employees, but he can't carry a gun on his person to protect himself. I swear this is clown world, people. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Criminals don't give a shit about gun laws, period, full stop. That's why the gentleman who pistol whipped Mr. Muldrow's friend had the gun in the club. I was alleged that the police didn't find the gun, but I got a couple of reasons why they didn't find the gun. But if it wasn't for Mr. Muldrow, a lot of people could have been hurt. If it wasn't for Mr. Muldrow, police could have been showing up to a crime scene, a murder scene. If it wasn't for Mr. Muldrow, his friend could very well be dead right now. But instead of congratulating him and maybe giving him a slap on the wrist for carrying his gun, which he did have a concealed license for in the state of Virginia, not to mention him being a federal officer, instead of giving him a slap on the wrist, they arrest him and he's facing possible jail time, not to mention losing his career and losing and ruining his life. Make that make sense. To say it now, these gun laws we got on the books are arbitrary. They make no sense. You're enforcing gun laws against good, upstanding citizens, but you're letting the criminals slide. Case in point, this case with Mr. Lloyd Muldrow. So I'm gonna say this, hey Brandon Scott, if you're listening, you need to intercede on his behalf. Had the charges against Mr. Muldrow dropped, because if it wasn't for him, the scene the police showed up to that night could have been a massacre. The Cannon Hotel. I holler at you.